What is up, Star Wars fans? This is Darth Watson, and this video, this is going to be a very interesting video, going back and explaining the entire Skywalker saga. The story begins with Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, where we first get introduced to Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Master Yoda, and the entire Jedi Council, including R2-D2 and C-3PO, while C-3PO was still being constructed as a protocol droid. While Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi was stranded on the desert planet of Tatooine, they encountered a young nine-year-old boy named Anakin Skywalker, who was born purely out of the will of the Force. Qui-Gon Jinn decided to take it upon himself to train young Anakin Skywalker as a Jedi. A little while later, Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn were facing off Maul, and Qui-Gon Jinn ends up getting killed by Darth Maul. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi ends up taking over to train young Anakin Skywalker as, as, his pad as his Padawan learner. To take young Anakin Skywalker as his Padawan learner and to train Anakin Skywalker as a Jedi. About 10 years later, in Attack of the Clones, Anakin Skywalker ends up Anakin Skywalker ends up ends up still a Padawan learner and ends up becoming becoming mature enough to take his first assignment on his own. Although Anakin Skywalker is still the still the the apprentice and Jedi Padawan of Obi-Wan Kenobi, it's his first assignment on his own to protect the Senator at all costs, Senator Padme and Madala. So they end up going to Naboo, they end up going to the Lake Country, Anakin Skywalker reveals that he does not like sand even though he's from the sand planet Tatooine, and uh, Anakin and Pad Padme end up end up getting married which, disobey which is disobeying the Jedi Code because Jedis are technically not allowed to get married, and as well as Anakin Skywalker was having force visions of his mother dying, but Anakin Skywalker didn't get there in time, and Anakin Skywalker's mother dies of her injuries, but then that angered Anakin Skywalker, and he eliminated all of the Tusken Raiders, even though Qui-Gon Jinn was trying Qui-Gon Jinn was trying to speak to Anakin Skywalker through the cosmic force. And then a few years later, uh, Padme ends up getting pregnant with Luke and Leia, and when Padme was pregnant with Luke and Leia, Anakin Skywalker gets another Force vision of his wife Padme dying, and uh, tries to prevent that, and, and wants to learn the power to prevent people from dying. He learns of Palpatine's former master, Darth Plagueis the Wise, where Darth Plagueis the Wise could even keep the ones he cared about from dying, but then his apprentice killed him in his sleep. He could save others from death, but not himself. But uh, Anakin Skywalker tries to learn this power, but then Anakin Skywalker discovers that Palpatine is the Sith Lord that they've been looking for, and Anakin ends up turning to the dark side. He, destroy he, he eliminates the majority of the Jedi, and the Jedi... Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi end up sending a message to all the surviving Je Jedi to stay away, and Anakin turns to the dark side, he gets defeated by Obi-Wan Kenobi, he gets put in a Vader suit, Padme dies of childbirth, giving birth to Luke and Leia, Luke and Leia end up going into hiding from the Emperor, and uh, Leia ends up going to Alderaan, and then Luke Skywalker ends up going to live with his aunt and uncle, on, on Tatooine with his Aunt Peru and Uncle Owen. Eighteen years later, during the events of Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, we were introduced to Han, Luke, Leia, and Chewbacca, as well as R2 and C-3PO. Han Solo and Luke Skywalker end up rescuing Princess Leia from being imprisoned by the Empire. Leia ends up getting captured by the Empire and witnesses witnessed her home planet of Alderaan being destroyed by Vader, killing millions of people on the planet, as well as uh, as as well as well as Luke Skywalker and ending up joining the rebellion and destroying the Death Star and using Obi Wan Kenobi's encouragement through the Cosmic Force after Obi Wan Kenobi was killed by Vader, because Obi Wan Kenobi ended up. Def getting defeated by Vader and getting struck down, and Obi-Wan Kenobi says, if you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. And then 
Luke Skywalker ends up destroying the Death Star, but then a few years later, uh, Vader discovers that his son Luke Skywalker ended up surviving and is un it, it, and is obsessed with finding his son Luke Skywalker, as well as like di as well as well as Luke Skywalker being commanded in Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back to go to the Dagobah system by Obi Wan Kenobi's Force Ghost, and Luke Skywalker gives in, goes to the Dagobah system to do more of his Jedi training, and then by, by Master Yoda, who is another Jedi survivor from Order 66, and Jedi Master Yoda trained Luke Skywalker for a little bit until Luke Skywalker sensed that his friends are in danger with Han and Leia being in danger on in Cloud City with Lando, and we get introduced to Lando in Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back as well. And then uh, Han Solo ends up getting frozen in carbonite. Uh, Luke Skywalker ends up going to face Vader and to rescue his friends, but ends up Vader ends up setting a trap for Luke Skywalker, his own son Luke Skywalker, revealing the terrible truth that he is Luke Skywalker's father. And by cutting off his hand and revealing that, because Luke Skywalker thought that Obi Wan thought that thought that Vader killed his father, but it, what he didn't know is that Obi-Wan was talking to him from a certain point of view, where when Anakin, when his father Anakin Skywalker became Vader, the good man who was Luke Skywalker's father was destroyed. And then, and then we jump to one year later, to the events of Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. And during the events of Return of the Jedi, the late Han Solo is still frozen in carbonite, and Leia goes in goes in undercover to rescue Han Solo and uh, Luke Skywalker demands that th that that they bring Solo and the Wookiee to him and then uh and then def and then Jabba the Hutt ends up sentencing them all to death in the Sarlacc pit although Jabba the Hutt gets defeated and killed and they end up escaping Jabba. and then eventually Luke Skywalker gives in and turns himself into the Empire to confront his father once and for all Luke Skywalker has completed his Jedi training from his master Yoda, and then Yoda ends up dying, and uh, revealing that, finally, re officially revealing that Vader is Luke Skywalker's father, and also revealing that Leia is also Luke Skywalker's twin sister, although that was not the original intention, by the way, for Luke and Leia to be brother and sister, but that ended up happening. But as far as that, as as far as Luke Skywalker ends up ends up confronting Vader one last time, refusing to turn to the dark side, defeats Vader, realizing that he Vader also had his arm cut off just like Luke Skywalker. Yeah, the Emperor yeah. finally had enough and decided to destroy Luke Skywalker. Vader couldn't stand to see his own son suffer, so he once became Anakin Skywalker once again. Vader and and re totally redeemed and ends up lifting the emperor up and throwing him into the shaft defying the emperor and destroying the emperor once and for all and anakin skywalker truly tr truly fulfilled his destiny as the chosen one Thirty years later, after the events of star wars episode six return of the jedi and the battle of endor about Thirty years later, during the events of Star Wars Episode Seven, we get reintroduced to Han, Luke, and Leia, as well as we get introduced to Rey, Finn, and Poe Dameron. Han Solo ends up confronting his son, Ben Solo, convincing him to turn back to the light, but ultimately fails, and Ben Solo ends up killing his own father, Han Solo, and Han Solo ends up falling to his death. Luke Skywalker is vanished, is in hiding, and it and the whole plot point is to focus on finding Luke Skywalker, and eventually Rey ends up finding Luke Skywalker, which leads us into Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. And in Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, Rey ends up convincing Luke Skywalker out of his depression, yes. and Rey ends up going to face Kylo Ren, and, Rey, and Rey's life gets threatened, so Kylo Ren ends up killing his master Snoke, taking, taking the role as Supreme Leader, and Luke Skywalker finally gets out of his depression, confronts his nephew Ben Solo, and told his nephew Ben Solo, Strike me down in anger and I will always be with you just like your father. 
and Ben Solo ends up trying to stri strike Luke Skywalker down, but doesn't realize that Luke Skywalker was just a force projection through meditation. The Luke Skywalker was go was in meditation and force projecting himself on the planet of Krayt, and Luke Skywalker wasn't actually there the whole entire time. Luke Skywalker does die towards the end of the film with some hope that uh, he will not be the last Jedi and that Rey will be the last one to defeat everything and to bring the Force back into balance, fi finishing the job of the Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker. And we jump to Star Wars Episode Nine, which takes place one year after the events of The Last Jedi, and Palpatine ends up returning, but uh, discovers that Rey and Ben Solo are a dyad in the Force, and drains the life force out of Rey and Ben Solo, and ends up restoring the one true Emperor, but Rey ends up defeating the Emperor once and for all. Ben Solo did get redeemed. He did get redeemed and decided not to go by the name Kylo Ren anymore and to help Rey defeat the Emperor once and for all as the last Skywalker, fulfilling the destiny as the last Skywalker and completing the job that Anakin Skywalker as the Chosen One did to bring balance back into Force back when he when he lifted the Emperor up and threw the Emperor in the shaft before Anakin Skywalker died. But, uh, but after that, the Force is brought back into balance, and that was truly an end to the Skywalker saga. That's all for this video. Of course, I couldn't cover every single detail within the nine episode Skywalker saga because that would require a video much minutes, longer. But anyways, minutes. that's all I have for this video. Do make sure to smash a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all later in another video. <laughs>